We've got He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, Savage Eternia figures coming up after this. Okay, so these figures were available on Walmart, and I ordered them at different times when they were showing up on the website. I don't want to give away my uh, my tactics, but I do uh, at in the middle of the night, at different hours of the middle of the night is when figures appear, and that's when I go and look for them, and sometimes I find waves that I never find in the store. This is probably going to be another negative video. There was just yesterday awesome announcements. Uh, so many great new figures that are coming. We kind of knew most of what was coming already. They told us, but it was fantastic to see pictures of them. It's hard for me to get too excited, like I said in my last video, because I can't get these figures. It's so stressful uh, that I can't, that I just can't get them. They're not available here. It, they make me feel like a failure in life that like I mean that I can't afford to like get them order them from just buy them on eBay or something and pay the ridiculous prices I keep hoping that they'll show up at Walmart and at least I can pay these nice cost prices which is really what they're worth but I wait. Okay, and the bad part about this, so I did order these from Walmart, and when they showed up, they're all, they, they, sent, they shipped them in bags from the other side of the country. Canada's the largest country, or second largest country in the world, but just in plastic bags, and they're all banged up. And then the next day, or in, I don't know, after I got all of these, showed up, they showed up, they took, I don't know, there was storm warnings, and they were delayed, and they took a while to come here actually pretty fast though I have to say that but I did find them I found this I, I found them all in the store afterwards and I was gonna buy them but and, and then and then return these ones but I didn't I mean I don't wanna I don't know what's going on with my credit card these days and I don't want to put too much on it and and, and then have to retur return it and I didn't want to go through the hassle, so I'm just accepting these horrible smashed up cards that I'm still going to keep. Maybe I'll glue them, maybe I'll fix them. I didn't even show you, like, the awesomeness. I mean, I like this packaging. I don't, I don't think many people do. I like the CGI cartoon. I think it's awesome, even though I didn't finish watching it. It is not renewed, is uh, the rumor. I don't know. I never believe what anybody tells me these days anyway, but I think that is the last bit of news, is that the CGI is not confirmed, so we will not be seeing Savage Eternia, but they seem to have made all of these figures, and they're looking awesome, and I do like to keep all of these pieces of cardboard and stuff, because they're cool, and uh, the artwork is cool, and I think the one that people would be most excited about would be Merman here, which he doesn't even look like Merman, but that is what's so great about these figures. These are the absolute worst a ASMR videos because it's probably the most unpleasant sounds in the world. I love these figures. They are not your traditional Masters of the Universe characters, but they look so cool, and they're just made so well and painted so well, and I know them, but they're new and revamped, and I love that, and it is quite sad that I knew kids weren't going to like this. I don't know what to do with this. Squid, octopus, includes oh I don't I don't know I don't know what that is Levithan Kin is that the guy's name and oh it shows it it shows it on his bracelet there it's a bracelet it's like a it's a tentacle arm it does remind me of the WWE tentacles that we got on Bray I believe 
that's cool. Okay, we've got some ratchet joints going on. Click, 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 all the way up. And they turn around. And what else do we have? We have a twist here at the knee. And we have a twist at the foot. That's interesting articulation. They have such great details. And then I believe that these things are glued on and attached. And I don't see any glue, which is great. So I love when they do that. When they, Instead of painting, they add the pieces in the different colors. I talk about that all the time. It's my favorite part of the toys. But even the paint on this is done so well. The details are in the molding, and that is what I like to see. So, so cool. Does his head turn? Yeah, his head turns. He's He's got all these, like, rubbery kind of areas on him. I don't know. Oh, I never did an angle. The angle should be better. Uh, I have it on a crazy low angle to, so you can see the action figures, but you can't really see them. Uh, he's awesome. I love this. I love, I love everything about it. I don't know. I never know what to tell you about these things. They're just so simple. And this is basically all I want to do is with them is just hold them, look at them. His wrist twists kind of reminding me of um, the creature from the Black Lagoon or Frankenstein. When I was looking at his hand, he's like a mashup. I like him. I think he's cool. Let's look at the up close details on his eyes. What is that eye in his eyes? That's he's awesome. All right, there's um a little baby animal in here. So let's get excited about that. Can we see that? That is different from the back of the cards. He looks scary. Not not cute in any way, but. That's cool. The figure looks, I guess, does this figure look cute? I don't know. Bright colors and everything. Hey, how about I do this? Is that too high? There we go. Okay, here we can look at Skeletor where I cut this up. So what else do I remember? Oh yeah, so I saw all these other things. Like they have the Sunman 3-pack that came out. That's, that's kind of probably my favorite thing. A lot of people aren't happy about Sunman because they don't know who Sunman is. I don't remember Sunman ever showing up at uh, any stores. Some Canadians claim that they did show up at some of our byways, but I think that they're mistaken. I know that at the byways there were uh, some rental figures that showed up. I remember buying those there, but I'm pretty sure that Sunman did not come to Canada. Because at least didn't come to the part of Canada that I lived in. But I'm loving those figures. Hey, this is the first time this was glued on here. Oh, oh. And look, it's even in the same wave as this guy. That is bizarre. I mean, I have so many of those, it doesn't really matter anyway. So, I don't think this is supposed to be Cringer. Because... It just is a cat, and it says that's the same artwork, but I think there's different colors in there. Oh man, these corners are all smashed up. Includes tiger cub, is what it says. So, I mean, I watched most of the CGI cartoon, but I have to say I don't remember what happened. Something that I know about these figures that I'm super excited about is that I hate gimmicks in my toys, and they were bobble waists, and that was the thing that I didn't like the most. They are just action figures now, so no spring-loaded anything. I love that. I wish they would have did that before, but you know, kids like action features, but so, so cool. Oh, you know what else that I got? Can we take a little hiatus? I, I was going to do a haul. I got these two. One sent to me from Europe, so I don't think that's available in Canada yet. This one showed up on the site. These are, uh, I think I think uh, my friend got a really good deal on this one in Europe, but these are $30. And this isn't, this is less of a figure than this. I don't understand why they charge these prices. Anyway, I guess next week I'll be opening this. And also from Europe, because I couldn't risk it. 
and this is this way they stop they just skip there are new there are figures showing up now in canada and i can't get them um they they like Every story, I think even, I even think this wave might have shown up just like select stores get one. Oh, and then, oh my goodness, I don't know, there's too much going on in this video. I wanted to talk about this. I wanted to talk about the new ones. There's way too, and I, I can't keep going. Anyway, I've had this one I bought like 10, 20 years ago, and I paid $50 for it. It's probably worth a lot more than that now. Do I sell it now that I have the new one? This, I wanted King Randor so badly my whole entire life. You know, there were contests. There were so, there were like two different contests that I remember. There were mail-away contests, um, two different kind of mail-away contests. Anyway, uh, I do. I have the propaganda for it, but... Um, uh, I never, I never got it, and I don't know why. Maybe it wasn't available to do it in Canada, which I don't think in the '80s it, it, they pretty much let you. All the contests seem to be opened um, to Canada and the United States, so maybe, maybe that's true. Maybe that's the problem. Anyway, I'm so this is the wave that I wanted so badly, and I really want him. I really want that target exclusive three pack sun man that i started talking about not the new one but the old one that i can't get in canada it makes me it makes me want to stop like i'm like i said it makes me feel like a failure in life that i can't get these things that that i am canadian it makes me regret being canadian canadian uh, it makes me regret living here it uh it makes me feel bad about myself and uh, how um, I'm not super rich, and it it's it makes it's stressful to get them. So it's making they're making it really easy for me not to want to collect this stuff anymore because it's so hard to get that. I I'm starting to hate I'm starting to hate it. As much joy and happiness that it brought me my whole entire life, especially as a kid, like, it molded me. Not the cartoon. I did not like the cartoon, by the way. And that's not why I like King Randor. I just like the humans, the human characters the most. Okay, we're opening Hordak. I don't know what it is about him. I don't even know. I didn't, I didn't show you the rest of He-Man before I opened up Hordak here. Did I show you the back of his card? Yeah, I showed you the back of his card. We're just going all over the place. It doesn't matter. The sword looks exactly the same. The figure is way better. Look at the wolf. Um, I'm sorry, that is Battle Cat Tiger on the shoulders. Amazing. I love this rubber. I love that it's not painted. You probably hate that. I love the tie-in. This is such a great new sculpt. I love the shoulders, and I love that the details aren't painted. I apologize for that, because in real life, like armor like this, gladiator armor, that it would be just gold, and it wouldn't be painted, and I really like seeing the details that way. This is, he is really cool. He twists at the knee. He is a, I don't think it's, it might be a ball joint. I can't see. Yeah, it's a ball joint at the at the legs, so he's all twisting and turning, all ball jointing all over the place. The wrists twist. The arms are on that. And I think they're a ball joint actually. So cool, coolness, cool. And of course, I do like to put the sword on the back. This is probably my second favorite He-Man after Translucent Yellow He-Man. He's the coolest of cool but oh yeah he's great okay and then there is tiger cub is that what they called him uh but i guess you could call this cringer no articulation really cute that's his bum uh teeth fierce adorable i would like to get lots of these wouldn't you like to have a and i think in the cartoon there were a lot of them running around weren't there or was there just one baby cringer who knows? It's funny that they didn't put him with um, Prince Adam, but what a nice add-on. And then Skeletor comes with some other one. I think that's a different wave that hasn't shown up. Okay, I also got this puzzle. 
I'm jumping around. Uh, I think I can handle this one. I was going to open this in a video, but I, I guess I forgot. I've been just trying to get things sorted out in my life. And the videos aren't working. I don't know. I don't know what I do with my days. Believe me. 48 pieces. I think I can handle this one. We should make it in a video. Oh, yeah. You can see all of the pieces there. That's really cool how they lay that out. I don't do puzzles very often. But I do have some classic ones that I found in this house. I know that's a strange way when I moved in. Uh, that's a strange thing to say. But there were some Masters of the Universe puzzles. And I did build those. And I think they were complete... There were some G.I. Joe ones that I think weren't. Maybe I was missing one piece? I'm not sure. There's a bat. So is this Imp? Is that who that's supposed to be? No, it just looks like a bat. And... Uh, here, can, can he can put it there? So weird. I um, thought that this, this angle... I guess I have this angle set up for 1-6 scale. I've got to get even lower if I want to do action figures, but cute, cool. I don't have platforms standing by. So this Hordak kind of reminds me of female Hordak, so tiny and thin, not menacing at all, very strange, very She-Ra Hordak, very strangely made. Like, Mattel doesn't usually make toys that are thin, so in this line it's really bizarre to me to see some of the characters, but they are, they're not typical Mattel action figures, uh, the females and stuff in this line. And uh, Hordak does look like a female, and he does remind me of the Hordak from She-Ra. And I thought we were going to get a crossover. I was sure they were going to do another Christmas special on Netflix. The two animation studios would get together, and they would do that. I mean, they've done that before. He also reminds me of, of that vampire cartoon that, was, that also made the not-CGI cartoon, the Kevin Smith cartoon. I guess the Kevin Smith cartoon is continuing. Do we know this? I don't know. I'm not a big cartoon fan. I've never... I don't like cartoons. I like serious court dramas and stuff like that when I'm watching TV. I don't like the juvenile stuff. Kind of why I like King Rander. King Rander was, like, in the cartoon. He would be the character that I like. I guess uh, Man at Arms was also kind of no, no nonsense, but he was he was always with Orko, and Orko was a you know he's Jar Jar Binks, so if he was the first Jar Jar Binks, uh, this Hordak is looking cool. I don't understand what I'm going to do with the legs though, because you can't really see them under here, and you can't take the loincloth off, and I don't want to. But really awesome soft rubber going on here. He's got these bird legs. He also twists at the knee. This seems to be a new thing now. No spring loaded in any of these. Yeah, I didn't even mention that in this, uh, well, I was going to say his Squiddish Rex uh, stupid name that they gave him in, I don't know when that was. And yeah, anyway, uh, well, we won't even we won't even talk about that. Hordak, that's that's what he's looking. That's what he's looking like. Uh, wrists? Do they twist? I'm trying to, like, I mean, the skirt gets in the way of him doing anything. These bird feet are kind of silly. He's too thin. I would love for him to be um, hulking out and hunky and chunky, but he's still cool, and he's made so well, and he's painted, and I like the she cartoon, and the fact that he reminds me of Hordak from that is kind of a good thing. I actually liked original to she on this shirt. They have, they're always mixing She-Ra in here. I think this is why we got only She-Ra. Do you think we're going to get more She-Ra figures? Because She-Ra is all over the mixed media. And I think I think Toy Guru did say something about um, because she's part of... Uh, well, we can't listen to anything that guy says. With the wings on, really cool. I would like to have gotten an imp. Did you get an imp? No, because Imp is awesome, even if he's not in the... Wait, Imp is in the... Wait, no. 
I don't remember if Imp was in the cartoon or not. I remember him in She-Ra. He was really creepy cute. Oh, this is cool. Wings are cool. I like that they come off. I don't know if you can do anything else with it. Did I throw away the packaging? Oh, here. It's right here. It says, includes Imp Bat. It actually does call it Imp. I-M-P Bat. So, excuse me. Hey, how come he looks so much more creepy and menacing and bigger on the box? I don't know. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't look that creepy, but he does look creepy up close. Oh, I didn't even show you him up close. Look at the detail. See, that's what I like. Not painted. And see, and his ears are painted. And they're big and long. And that's his bum. And they did paint some stuff on here. I wonder how well this is going to last. Is it going to get sticky? Is this paint going to come off over time? I don't like when that stuff happens. I don't like when toys age. The wings on are awesome. Imp on his back really cool high hood very vampire -y. uh three different sections the horde the evil warriors and he-man so a good cross section i also have these ones i don't know i don't know what i'm missing from these ones my friend also sent me these which i kind of like these i think i do have all of the waves before this one i, I surprisingly i wasn't going to collect them but they just kept showing up and finding them for good prices or I think there are some sets that I didn't get but I think that's just variants and stuff and not really important anyway there's a lot of masters of the universe going on right now there's a lot of new toys and it's really stressful for me and I'm trying I'm trying to and, I, and the stuff that's not available like there's so many that's the problem there's so many good things that why am I going to concern myself with something that is agonizing to hunt down even though it's my favorite toy line of all time maybe that's Fisher Price Adventure people but you can't get those anymore they don't remake those all right like comment share and subscribe we'll see you next time Let me know what you want me to open next. I kind of want to do, I do want to do collection videos too. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. This is so cool. I can't believe this card. This, this I just had, I've never like really taken care of this, which is crazy. This is pretty much the shape that it came in. And I'm really clumsy, but I've just, it meant a lot to me. I've just always had it on top of different boxes in my toy room just sitting around on top of a shelf just hanging around for 20 years basically and I mean I don't like the fact that his gauntlets are all tarnished and that's probably the main reason but this wave this missing seventh wave that I never had as a kid this guy sorceress clamp champ ninja Wait, is that his name yeah yeah, and uh, um, Faker was in there too, and I didn't have a Faker, so I wanted him. Oh, and Scareglow was in there. These other guys I did have because it was the wave before, and the misconception is uh, everybody always puts, everywhere I see it listed is uh, Mosquito. They have him in wave seven, and he wasn't in wave seven. He was in wave six. I know because... I had them, and I never had any Wave 7s. And you can also look at the back of his box, which doesn't have any of Wave 7 because none of Wave 7 existed so far. So it's it's bizarre that everybody thinks that Mosquito was in Wave 7 when he was in Wave 6. Or maybe I'm talking about, maybe there were only six waves, and, 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 the, and King Rander was in Wave 6. Anyway... He wasn't in the same wave as those guys. He was in the same wave as Rio Blast and Extendor and um, other other figures that aren't on this box. Do you know what you want me to open in the next video? Do you want? Would you sit down and watch me make a puzzle? Would that be a video that you could tolerate? I'm sure I could talk about something. You could tell me what you want me to talk about. Uh, this, I'm not very pleased with how King Hiss. I mean. 
This doesn't look like the king has I know, but I think that this will be the next video. Uh, opening up these overly priced, twice the price of the regular figures, but they're not even bigger or anything. I don't like cloth goods on these things. I love translucent, so I, I am quite excited about this. These do have gimmicks, though, because that's why they're the price. Look at the different translucent plastics on this. This is awesome. Can't wait to open those. Can't wait to open my new King Hiss which, no, King Randor, not King Hiss, but, and then I'm not too excited about, I am, I am excited about the 2000X version of um, King Randor, which they're calling Young King Randor, I think, something like that, but, I mean, they're exactly the same, except better, I, I don't, I, I can't, I can't, I really do feel like they're better than the original, I love the original, but there's some, they're just brought up to date. They did a great job. Too bad kids hate toys now, though, isn't it?